What's up you guys, Zeddy at Fliptronics. I'm going to be showing you the best phone for gaming under $300 to check out in 2018. Alright, so it's going to be the Moto G6. This phone is currently unlocked for all carriers. I'm going to throw a link in the description if anybody out there wants to check it out. I've got two games we're going to be checking out here. We've got Hero Hunters and Into the Dead 2. Probably two of my favorite games right now. Now this game itself has well over a million downloads on it. It's really fun and I definitely recommend, you know, anybody out there, uh, you know, give this one a download. Anyways, I'm going to get into some of the gameplay on this. If anybody has any questions about the G6, hit me up in the comments and I will get back to you on it. But, you know, the phone is just pretty much amazing for the price point. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, you know, kill some bad guys here. So this game actually plays a lot like Gears of War. So anybody, um, you know, who's a fan of that series... We'll definitely like this game. It's a team-based kind of like action game. It's mission-based, and it's just really fun. I mean, it's just a really enjoyable game, and it's, uh, you know, free for download, too, so that's another plus. But anyways, we'll get into a couple missions here, and, uh, you know, let's take out some of these bad guys. All right, so check it out. You can switch between characters in this game. It's pretty sweet. All right, so we got our sniper girl up here. Alright, so if I wanted to switch back, you know, I could do it like I just did with that guy. It was pretty sweet. Let's take this guy out. Nice little critical hit. Alright, let's throw that those rockets. Very nice. Alright, so a pretty cool intro to this game for sure. Now, um, you know, as far as like performance, this phone is very impressive. Like, when you're in a game, you know, there's not going to be any lag or anything like that. Load times on some bigger file high graphic games will take a little bit, but, you know, for the most part, everything is very impressive on here. And you're just, you're just kind of getting a taste of it right now on just this first game here. But as soon as we get into some Into the Dead 2 gameplay, you know, you get to see some of that as well. Man, we're just sniping these guys. Oh man, we better take out that grenader, eh? This guy, I think he's trying to do here. Oh, let's switch it up. Man, that's pretty sweet. All right, nice little slow motion kill there. All right, we're going to get into another mission just because this game is that awesome. So that was just the first one. All right, let's get that gold. All right, cool. So we just added a character. I think this guy's kind of like just a big shotgun dude, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He just kind of bust through. Taking dudes out. All right, cool. So that is going to be the first game. We got to get into another one, though, and it's going to be, like I said, Into the Dead 2. Now, this game is, you know, very high graphic. It's a big file game, and like I said, when you're playing games on here, as soon as you get into them, you're good to go, but load times can take a little bit longer than expected. Now, it's really hard to complain. Like I said, this phone is literally running for around 250 bucks, so it's well under the 300 mark, and it's just very impressive. 
Um, so we'll probably do like two or three missions in this game. And for those of you who have not checked out Into the Dead 2, it is, you know, definitely like a top three favorite zombie shooting game, you know, uh, out of everything out there. And I mean, there's a ton of zombie games to be playing right now. I mean, it seems like it's never ending. All right, anyways, let's get out of this offer, kick things off here with some level two. And uh, let's kill some zombies, eh? All right, so there is a ton of levels to play on the campaign for this game. I have never even beaten this game. Now, I've unlocked tons of different weapons. So, I mean, you've got shotguns, assault rifles, submachine guns, AK-40s. I mean, just so many guns you can unlock in this game. And, you know, the zombies in it are also very freaky. I mean, they will freak you out for sure. But anyways, let's, uh, you know, let's kill some of them, get some double kills here. Very nice, just popping, guys. So far, so good. I like that double kill. Oh man, I love getting those double headshots. Nothing's better. I just love ripping these zombies apart. Okay, so I'm going to get into another level. Um, you know, but like I said, this game is just ridiculously awesome. Plays great on the G6. Uh, this next level we're going to be checking out is going to be the haystack level. So it's got like a different kind of like darker, you know, environment. So, I mean, you're going to have different themes on these levels, you know, which, uh, you know, they all look really sharp and kind of eerie. But we'll get into some of level three here. Hopefully I don't get killed in the process. Alright, let's do this. Oh crap, need that. Oh good. That was like a triple killer right there. It was pretty crazy. Didn't want to miss that ammo crate. Wow, I got lucky right there. Oh, ammo crate, come on. Alright, nice. <laughs> that was a close call. Alright, so it's getting pretty thick with them up here. Oh man, it was such a nice triple kill. Man, those triple kills are just ridiculous. Alright, we're coming up to the end of this level. Um, and, you know, I... 
honestly like think these were a couple really good games to showcase this phone uh it is just so impressive like i mean i'm impressed you know there's much more expensive phones out there that you know uh will perform pretty much the same as this one. Um, the, like I said, there's really not a lot of downsides to this phone that I've seen so far. I mean, the picture's great on it. It's got a pretty good processor. I mean, it plays some of these high graphic games really well. And, uh, you know, there's no lag on them either. So that's like another huge plus to me. Um, anyways, I'm going to wrap things up there with, uh, you know, the G6 here. But if you're looking for the best, you know, phone for gaming under $300 in 2018, right now this is going to be my top pick. It's an amazing phone. It's around, it's going to be around $250. I'll have a link in the description for it if you want to check it out on Amazon. If you could also hit the like and share button on this video, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you all later.